Hey everyone, it's Q here. Welcome to the channel. Uh, let's see. Well, I didn't mean for it to be this way, so I'll just deconstruct it and talk about it on the way back. But this is our, our full moon, full moon, <laughs> full moon reading in Pisces. Um, so let's start with our uh, universal cards here. The High Priestess Intuition has closed their eyes and sought advice from others to help turn around a situation. Um, that's the energy I get off of that there. So stick to your intuition. That's very much the theme of every reading I have done today is a uh, High Priestess energy. I like the uh, Three of Pentacles here. This can either be like mm, cahooting or like third party energy. Mm. I've been seeing mentor a lot as well too, but this is just like mm, second opinion. Ask a friend, ask somebody that you trust. And again, switching around a situation. Um, I guess on the flip side, it could be uh, for like the worst case scenario would be a uh, cahooting cohort <laughs> of crows. Yeah, that's fun. Uh, is seeking out intuition or coming against to manipulate, to pull out information. Mm -hmm. Uh, other layer, uh, ah, let me go flip it back. Um, steal one's heart, like st still, still one's heart, S-T-I-L-L, -L. um, and the chatter of others to find the solution. So close, uh, it's almost like the heart is overwhelmed. So open up one's intuition fully, which will be different. Fine, that's hard to say though, cause it's like mm, etheric brain is what I wanna say, but not everybody understands that. Cause the heart can sometimes just be not logical and the brain can't be heart-like with feeling. It's like, using the mind of your soul. It's like you don't even translate it to your mind. You just like soul language, boom. Interesting. I don't know why I had to say all that, but there it is. Uh, full moon in Pisces, uh, as I learned today, is our harvest moon. And why it's always called harvest moon is cause it rises up with the sun, or uh, sets. So the like time period of darkness is pretty much nothing. So you can work through the night. Um, Cause you know, about harvest time. So all the farmers had to, you know, work harder this night. So that energy bleeds into this as well. Cause it's a Pisces moon. And I thought that was a relevant information that was mentioned in Steve's video. Okay. Uh, we started at the end so we'll keep at the end here so the world crossed these cards here this was just a new format that i was doing with the uh, 12 zodiacs i just kind of like winged it and i liked it actually um but the world crossed all this energy that was here and this was a pisces energy which was happiness and nurturance uh by seeking out and being with the truth I guess Aquarius gets an extra card. I didn't realize I did that. <laughs> um, also, the uh, overall energy for this sector, I guess, because um, I ended up doing this. I really should just redo the whole video with a new reading. Should I do that? Per permission, authority from this audience. Redo the reading. No, just back it up. All right. Okay. Um, so, oh, let's just do it this way. Pardon me. Okay, so the world crossed it all. And it was happiness and nurturance and a new horizon. And, okay, um, wish fulfillment for Aquarius. Okay. 
was fueled by a new world and a solid way of approach. What I also like is that the Ten of Swords for Aquarius sector um, reset to the Ace like immediately. Why? Because someone brought in the truth. <laughs> That's why I read off that. And it opened up the world. And it made everything bright, sunny, illuminated with that truth. And that nurtured the person and felt comfortable enough to be themselves. So while in the nature of being themselves and being able to be free enough to be themselves, they get their wish fulfillment. They get to eat Tweety, finally. <laughs> okay, there we go. I got it. It's a little harder to deconstruct. Uh, what's crossing the uh, Son of Pentacles here, that Knight of Pentacles? Ah, what slowed them down was the horse was sad. <laughs> uh, what I like to point out with this here is that the two heads are in the darkness there. The nice thing about this one is that the, the little buck here is looking towards the light whereas the sad horse is looking in the darkness so look towards the light and that happens easily with the sun illuminating things Boom. crossing that is wow yeah look at that we end the story with the the two cards that hurt us the most <laughs> that's interesting oh three cards oh wow well, because of the devil oh okay i guess it's important to read all these man Interesting. All the gunk was here. And it got illuminated by the sun and disappeared. <laughs> so all this came in quickly because those roots went deep. So self-sabotaging, being in your head, um, overthinking and anxiety about it, unable to like make a clear decision, breadcrumbing, fear, um, Eh, self-sabotaging or self uh, self punishment um, heartache and betrayal and despair all that was weighing on this poor little knight's mind and that's why ten swords came to an end is because everything that needed to be said finally got said boom I like that let's put all that here because I like that there pew, pew, pew. all right got it Ooh, that's a hard little, little sector there. But I think I should do it via um, elements versus two, because that's pretty big and heavy. Hmm. I don't know. I'm just running with it. Stay a student. I'm learning. All right. So, like, what are these? What is it doing here? So, we did have an extra card. Okay, I was confused for a moment. I will put it with a high priestess because it's the Empress and the Minor Arcana. Does that seem correct? That's correct. It's, oh, it's a reflective of... Okay, now I remember why it's like. I put it out there because it was representing the upper end up here. So the Empress, those have learned or gained independence. Um. No. Oh my god, I just keep messing up so bad. <laughs> uh, it's not really messing up, I'm just, this is new, so. It's learning curve. <laughs> okay. Scratch all that. It's the overall energy for here. <laughs> my goodness. Uh, like the world was here. Boom. Um, so, independence or becoming the your inner divine feminine or getting it balanced uh, has put an end to a choice over the regret of not choosing what gives the full cup full love, full experience because one didn't share the cup equally or enough and they had to face the truth about being wishy-washy which the king of cups is notorious about yeah and this is going to be our Capricorn Sagittarian area. The King of Cups. Ah, see, he was just almost there. Just needed to heal up and quiet their mind. Um, 
after they quieted their mind and they've just allowed um, what I was saying about, that's why I said all that with her. Remember how I said, it's like not even trying to translate through the mind and heart or mind and soul with the heart. It's just getting direct, raw, untranslated, unmessaged error mind of the soul is what that card was there which translates and verifies by this hermit it's doing that and the light bulb is finally going off the turtle's about to come out of the shell it's not sunk into it it's coming out because these flimsy little chicken bones of excuses isn't gonna hold you back nothing's gonna stop me it's coming off this card a lot uh, and the, I see the soul contract. It's all like, ah, oh, I did agree to that. Oh, I can't. But I got my paw on the pentacle. I like pentacles. Bitch, put your hand on that cup. <laughs> it's a good idea. It's the, it's the idea that the hermit had. That's solid. It's also that Three of Pentacles that's here from the uh, conclusion. It builds that mountain foundation. I like it. There you go. Scorpios and Libras. All right. Uh, there's a hot mess here. Okay. This crossed it. Okay. All right. Crossing all that energy is worry, anxiety. I see over the secret highly on this one. Um, check on your dog. I don't know why I said that. Um, start trying with the cup energy. And cup energy is like just being real, authentic, uh, empathic, loving, um, big L. And that's that choice that's down here that came to an end. Underneath the moon again. I'm not noticing that too. Okay. It leads to victory. And balanced... Uh, emotion with a heart open hearing um, that mind uh, the mind of the soul mm -hmm. okay which leads to ultimate abundance happy life happy wife happy dogs hey I said dogs <laughs> uh, and crossing all that energy was the illusions the illusions caused all this confusion and now one has gained victory over that by making a decision and starting to use cups instead of anxiety. Thinking about it and worrying about it isn't going to do anything. Just go do something and you may get something or you may get nothing. But you'll stop worrying about it. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Which leads to victory because you talked about it. <laughs> uh. See how that gets rid of all that? Actually turns the card upside down. Oh, turn both. Turns the card upside down. The sun fills the cup there because it illuminates. Cross-checking the reading there because this is red with that. Boom. Work hard at it. Go through with it. Transform. Put an end to indecision, which reflects over here. Get that wish fulfillment, which reflected, was it here or the other one? Yeah, it was right here. Um, because indecision, the two swords, wishy-washiness gets you in a tower. You got to. Go speak. Wow, okay. That cross-checks as well, too, with Steve reading. Because, well, intuition. <laughs> 
Uh, again, the moon. Uh, the moon. <sighs> yeah. We see through the fakeness that they're just trying to protect their image. It's twice now I've seen this card as protect. This is their image, though. Mm, protect their passion. Hmm. lost those eggs before. Interesting. So you must do it. Wow, the whole like family's right there. Interesting. Huh. They're like huddled up. It's the Viper Pit. Um, you must do it because you, you know you got to have it your way, but you need, don't know what your way is, honestly. So with that decision, opening up and getting the victory by opening the heart and allowing the mind of the soul to speak to you, you can have it your way because it's what you wanted. <laughs> nice. So go dive in and get it. You just got to talk about it and go find out. And if you talk about it and it isn't good, well, then you can move on and find something else that is what you want as the burger. Okay. Have it your way energies above it as well, too. That'll set you free because you made a decision. Oh, wow, it's upside down, too. <laughs> uh, I love it. That was fucking good. Damn, that's spot on. Okay. to Virgo and Leo section who's uh, uh, is this spying energy here? It's thinking about the truth about what you've heard. It's like processing of gossip because you're uh, wielding the sword and cutting through all the paper. Interesting. Alright. Um You'll find out that equal give and take was supposed to be happening there. And it's what's... <sighs> the rats come to make it right with the two birds. This weird creature selection. That's a... Uh... Oh, I see. You got it's, you know, justice in, it's justice in the minor arcana here expressing itself. Huh. Interesting. Because of the eight pentacles, which is drawing me back to over here, destroying those illusions of, oh, it was equal. No, it wasn't. So work harder at it. <laughs> nice. Okay. And let's see. Okay, yes, yeah, so that's that. Like that. Um, Leo said here, the or continuing on, there was two paths to take, more decision here. One led to a new world, and one just kept the other one just repeating. So which, do you just want to keep repeating it? It's having the same sensations, same feelings, no choice, no choice, no choice. Or choices. It'll get your wheel turning, but the wheel needs to spin. Hmm. Interesting. Because all the moon is hitting down on everybody right now. And the moon is making you see because the sunlight illuminates everything and illuminates truth. But this particular moon, this Pisces moon, is as bright as a sun. It's also the brightest moon as well, too, because of how it's so close to the sunset. And what that does is reveal what one wants, what one wants to be, how to grow. I've been seeing this car a lot as its action as grow, growth. Swinging truth. Wisely. Uh, is this control? No. It's 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 the timing part. So like all these are set in a line and timed to harvest. That's right, because it's this yeah, in a classic tarot. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. Uh, seven. Yeah, it's time to harvest. 
Don't hold back. Man, okay, we got another complete reset with the Ten of Swords to the Ace of Swords, and we have the Ten of Wands, all those boundaries. What was that? All those worries, um, anxieties. Mm, stuff that holds us back has just like built up and built up and built up and finally just exploding and resetting to a brand new beginning of growth growth all because of the moon leads to a sharing of cups and a balancing of oneself as angel energy comes in helping to illuminate this moon to facilitate growth and truth it's divinely time to overcome that and reset to open up to equal give and take that reciprocity. The aftermath of the tower. Long time coming. Two, two aces are here in this stack. Creates calm water it's because one opened up and said what needs to be said and dived into using cups and once one gave some cup to oneself, one could go give cup to others. That leads one over the wall of the moon, which led to the ten, which led to the ace. With a page of swords, repeating message, of cutting through the lies and the gossip so one could get over there from holdups and grow learn how to speak the truth and wield the truth because you learned and get to that new beginning boom sweet yeah, that's cool. the moon's just hitting hard <laughs> grow alright over here we're crossed by having it our way and one, it's our passion we, we, we want to have it that way because it's what we're passionate about. You just got to tweak it into the the positive spin versus the negative spin. Don't be toxically your way. <laughs> um, but as you saw here in this stack, it's there's a integrous way to do everything. So having it our way. Uh, this is the Cancer Gemini section about getting a cup to share, bringing me back over to this pal here with the two of cups after the calm of waters. Not that there. But getting to the two of cups, nuzzling kitties, and gives you that divine timing again. Cross-checking over there. There's that decision, the wishy-washiness of like, I don't know, Let's go ask somebody. <laughs> go ask somebody go out have some fun and mention it lightly because you'll be having fun and you'll get the right advice that you need to give you balance this balance comes from justice from the deceit and deceptions found from hiding truth or truth being hidden and it leads to that ultimate Beyond fairy tale happiness, there of the Ten of Pentacles, the Sun, that illumination from same thing. It's cross checking itself by bookending up here. So you walk towards and walk away to a new way of seeing things, coming in out of the darkness that we've been uh, clutching to, and we're curious about learning what's new. <laughs> Uh, to go get nurtured, to buy experience, to take the rose from the two of cups bravely because we're having under the sun here, under the sun here it gets illuminated like it down here did with the truth and the truth brought to you by the sun, eh. sun gives one the warmth and the courage and the strength to overcome their fear of bringing that rose to whomever they want to. Counterbalancing and uh, cross-checking right here. But once you bring it there and they don't want it, you'll know. And that'll give you your judgment. 
And so you can either fly away or fly to. But you'll know. Wow, it's got that in here too. We got ten pentacles, ten cups, judgment, and justice in this stack. Ah, happiness with your partner, your emperor. The moon there again too. Which brings in that solid offer, that foundation in order to get to the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups. Wow. And it opens up a new world. Wow. That's unbelievable. Interesting. Uh, the path forward has been decided. There ain't no decision there like there was in the other two of wands. Uh, oh yeah, the two of wands that was here. This decision's already made. Like you're going to the new world. <laughs> there's there's no choice. Because <laughs> uh, you're curious. Curious about what's out there. Huh. Beautiful. I like the justice in that. I'd have my way with that. Have it your way. Empress shining brightly throughout all of this here. So uh, we'll get to our, our first or last stack here. Uh, this is going to be our Taurus and Aries angle-ish. Uh, this all applies to everybody, if you're noticing. I'm like tying the reading to it, but we're just sectoring it out. And just take what identifies for you. As we transform... We transform our wish or transformation gets us to our wish. This is that, um, for my other decks that I regularly use, this is that breathing life into our wish. And it's coming in swiftly because, well, we transformed and changed. We went from that um, protecting our image to protecting what we love because I'm just noticing the kitty. I usually don't notice the kitty on the deck, uh, on the card. I've seen it, but I usually don't notice it. And that means the queen is protecting what she loves versus something fake. Which leads to four wands, tying me back over to here. And that's that foundation that leads to charging into a victory. <laughs> I like it. Uh, victoriously charging in under the moon. Confidently, passionately, balanced, nurtured, warmth. Very little fear. It's almost like fuck any kind of fear. It's that fuck it energy coming off of it. Because, it, yeah, the Ace of Cups is just like too much energy for this fear to hold. It's got to come out. It's got to, it's got to like pour onto the wheel to get it moving <laughs> which opens up that starts that choice but the choice has turned into what your wish transformed into which becomes instead of choice there it becomes the lovers and the divine right there is just chuckling <laughs> has the hierophant there it's like oh look that was a great idea wasn't it i don't know why you had choice there but you know free will and all <laughs> Uh, that's great. I like that. That's pretty chill. Pretty. I like the format for sure. Uh, boom. Yeah. So Empress overall energy there. Boom. Boom. We'll pull in the three cards up here again. Boom. 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 Oh yeah. Um, I didn't mention. Uh oh. Hey Q, I got you. <laughs> um, the overall energy for this whole reading was the Empress and the Knight of Cups. And I guess these wanna come out too. So look to the, <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Um, I'll cross that. Yeah, the Empress crossed by bringing love and or someone coming in with love. So the Divine wants you to look towards your heartache and find out what burdens you so you can f figure out what to communicate here to your empress or what needs to be said to be your empress and that's crossed by the devil here which is our fears and fears are easily overcome by truth where we end and what that does is open us up to the ten of cups and pulling us back 
out of the cold is healing up, reminiscing there in angel energy. I, I didn't, I pulled both, wasn't needing to. The page of cups, is under, uh, page of pentacles is underneath there, that learning. But that pulls us and all is radiated out from Archangel Michael's action figure, uh, temperance, angel energy. Balanced, harmonized, and pulling into the positive spin because one is wielding and using truth instead of anxiety. <laughs> That's a pretty good perspective to change into. I'd say it give one victory and open up that heart. Thanks, Tower. <laughs> it made me an empress. I ain't hurt and burdened anymore. And I know what I wish for. <laughs> I like it. Uh, there's your um, Pisces um, full moon reading there for general audience. Uh, take what resonates. It applies to everybody, but again, sectors, uh, Aries to um, Pisces there. Um, and just everything kind of book in and cross checks. It's, I guess, spoke on all things. And I love how the divine is in the center pointing towards the truth. It's all like, just do this. It's what's needed to give that magician its power as we started with our reading the end of the reading with the high priestess using its intuition its mind of the soul to flip the script all right well there you have it if you find yourself in a dark space mm, boom q's got you